and he starts showing us some details about his walk with the Lord. And I want to let you know something this morning, child of God. The walk between you and the Lord has nothing to do with anybody else except for you and the Lord. Oftentimes we get this misunderstanding that if that person would do better, if that person would treat me better, if they would act right, if they would help me out, then my walk might be a little bit better, but that's not even close to the truth. David, of all people, understands this, and we'll get deeper into it, but can I say David understands it best. King Saul has tried to kill him. His own son is against him. Amen. His wife hates him. Amen. Everybody is against David. But David realizes one thing. My walk with God does not concern Saul. My walk with God does not concern Absalom. My walk with God does not uh, balance on the good days or the bad days of my marriage. Amen. But my walk with God uh, is solely determined uh, on where I am with him. Uh, am I doing what God said to do? Am I being who God said to be? Amen. The old song said it like this. It's not my brother or my sister, but it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. This ain't your walk, but it's my walk with God today. And that's how we all should feel. If I'm going to get closer, I can't wait on my husband. I can't wait on my wife to get closer. If I'm going to be closer, I can't wait on my children to get closer. But I've got to be bound and determined that if I'm going to have a better walk with God, then it's going to be me that's doing it. 